It is so great that you're able to be with Opa again today. And today I'm going to be reading this story to you called The Giraffe Who Got in a Knot. And so I hope you're going to enjoy this book with Opa today. I love reading stories and I hope you're going to enjoy it. The sun was ablaze in the African sky. When Cardinal Giraffe happened to spy a quite irresistible camel thorn tree, the sight of which made Cardinal weak at the knees. Oh, bless my spots! I think I was born to feast upon such a fine camel thorn tree and just look at him licking his tongue. Without further bother, or fuss, or ado, he opened his mouth and he started to chew. Out curled his tongue and went in the leaves of that fine camel thorn, most delicious of trees. Just look at him eating. Can you see his tongue around the leaves? In a rapture of eating, his eyes slowly closed. In a rapture of eating, he followed his nose. Snifty sniff, chomping here, chomping there, with the scent of the fresh camel thorn filling the air. He chewed and he chewed, and he carried on chewing. Pity he couldn't see what he was doing, for he bent and contorted himself such a lot that he tied his neck up in a big spotted knot. Can you see the big spotted knot? Oh, look at his face. Look at his eyes. What have I done? He cried. What shall I do? I wish that I kept my eyes open to chew how funny I look. My friends will all laugh. Oh, who will undo such a naughty giraffe? By now all the beasts of the African jungle had gathered around to observe Cardinal's bungle. Cardinal is a shorty, a short, they tease. From now, from now on he'll have to find much shorter trees. Cried Cardinal, please help me untie, please. Said Zebra, you might come undone if you sneeze. Oh, have you sneezed before? Let's see what happens. So they tickled his nose until he sneezed such a power. Then that ostrich feathers blew off in a shower. But the sneeze did not work. Its only effect was to tighten that big spotted knot on his neck. Are you still enjoying the story? Isn't this fun? Opa gets to read to you. Then tugging and twisting, the elephants tried with all their strength to get Cardinal untied. Stop it! yelled Cardinal. Oh, stop it, please do! If you keep on longer, my spots will turn to blue. Look at his face. Can you see the giraffe's face? I just love looking at his eyes. And look at his mouth. Look at those ears. Can you see the ears? At this stage, Bundu Bird hopped on his head. Now, Cardwell, just do as I ask you, he said. Wherever I fly... Let your head follow me. Don't worry. I'm sure this will work. Wait and see. Then he fluttered off and flitted around Cardwell's head while Cardwell's eyes followed wherever he led. When he stopped, the dismay at the animal's faces told Cardwell he now had knots in three places. Oh look, he's got knots in three places. Isn't that strange for a giraffe? 
Then Lionel Line, who was usually right, growled, What Cardwell needs is a jolly good fright. Look at his face. Look at the lion's face. So he sat before Cardwell, opened his jaws, and let out the most ferocious of roars. Cardwell recoiled. He shuddered and shivered from the shock that that roar that the lion delivered. His teeth rattled loose. His eardrums were shattered. But his neck was quite straight. And that was what mattered. The animals burst into joyful applause as a tumult went up from their hooves and their paws. Look how excited they are. Just look at the elephant. Look at them. Is that a monkey? Look at the monkey. And everybody, they just so, so happy at what happened. Now Cardwell said, said Lionel, the next time you're chewing, keep your eyes open and watch what you're doing. Yes, sir, said Cardwell. Just as sure as I'm spotted, that's the very last time I shall get myself knotted. Just look at that smiley face of the giraffe. After him, after he was knotted for a while and tried so many times to get unknotted until the lion roared. I hope you enjoyed this story reading. Uh, Opa, reading stories with you. I love you and I hope you have a wonderful day.